This video shows how we can leverage the power of what is the Adobe Publish Online option when it comes to exporting content. Now, a lot of the time we'll export as a PDF for print or a PDF interactive. Now, this particular document has got these images, okay? Both of these have been set to work as buttons, okay? So I've got here button one. Now, the difference with button one and two is that they're set to be hidden until triggered. And the triggers are these buttons here, which basically are gonna say, click on model one button, show model one, click on model two button and show model two. Okay, now that does work as an interactive PDF and what is I'm gonna show you publish online. But page two is basically an Adobe Creative Cloud video, which I took the video link from, from their channel. I pasted the link into InDesign. It can't display it correctly in InDesign. If we export it to a interactive PDF, it would not show in there either. So what we're gonna do is go to the share option and say publish online. And this means that the output content will appear in a web browser. So I'll hit publish online. And then for that, I'm gonna say what is a new document. I can do all the document or page range, a single or spread pages. And then if I click on advanced, I can also change what is the quality or resolution. The lower the resolution, the lower the quality and vice versa, the higher the resolution, the higher the quality. So if I hit publish, that shows me uploading the document. And when that's complete, I'm able then to click on the button that will appear that says, view document so I'll do that now click view document and that will appear in the browser and then as expected it won't show any of the images to start with click on the button for model one click on for model two now this works as an interactive PDF and publish online but if I navigate to page two this is embedded video this is from YouTube click play and you should see now in Lightroom you've watched Terry do it a million times well the basic section of the Lumetri color panel was actually taken from Lightroom in spirit and that displays perfectly well as a published online document. 